What is up guys, I'm the Senator and today I'm going to be showing you which operators in Operation Shadow Legacy are going to be gaining some new sites as well as losing some sites such as the ACOG. Now not everyone has access, access to the test server, you may play on console or you may not have enough room on your PC to download another version of the game. So you don't really know moving forward which operators or what your favorite operator is going to have for Operation Shadow Legacy and so that's why I'm here. So I'm going to show you all the site changes for both the attackers as well as the defenders. I'm going to start off with the attackers and I'll put a timestamp down below if you just want to look at what the defenders are getting. But anyways, uh, let's start off with Sledge. Now he has the shotgun as well as the L85. The Nothing has changed for the shotguns, just the rifles and the uh, SMGs and the DMR. So we're gonna be looking only at that. And note that every time you see the 2.5, that just means ACOG. That's always been the ACOG, but for some reason they named it the 2.5 instead. So I'm gonna keep calling it the, the ACOG because that's, you know, that's what it's called or what we've always called it. So keep that in mind. But looking at Sledge, he has the old red dot. He's getting the new holographic, the reflex, and he's getting the new 1.5, which is a mix between the ACOG and the holographic. It gives you the field of view of a holographic, but it has some zoom like an ACOG. So I kind of like that. Obviously it's not zoomed as much as an ACOG, but it's still a nice mix between the two sites. But anyways, that is what Sledge has. I'm gonna move through these rather fast because there are a lot of operators to go over. So that was Sledge. Uh, moving on next to Thatcher. Looking at his AR-33, he has the ACOG as well as the new 1.5 zoom, as well as the new red dot. He's keeping the old holographic as well as the reflex. Looking at his L85 now, his L85 doesn't necessarily have to have the same optics as Sledge's, and you'll see examples like this throughout uh, this video. He's keeping the uh, old holographic, he's getting the new red dot, the reflex, and he's getting the new 2.0. They get rid of his ACOG, they're not giving the 1.5, but they are giving him the 2.0, which doesn't really make sense to me. He's a support operator, he needs his ACOG, but maybe they thought the L85 was too powerful to give him an ACOG. I don't know what they're thinking, but that is what is going on for Thatcher for Operation Shadow Legacy. Ash, nothing has changed with Ash in terms of the R4C. I'll tell you that right now, I won't even go over that. Uh, but she, on the G36, he took away her ACOG and gave her the 1.5. I already said uh, nothing changed on the R4C. Uh, Thermite, looking at his loadout, at the 556XI, he has the ACOG as always, as well as the new 2.0 scope. And he has the old reflex, red dot, and holographic. Looking at Twitch now. Start off with the, the 417. On all the DMRs, I, I believe it's on every DMR, they got rid of the ACOG and just gave them the 3.0 instead, which I don't understand if, if we can agree that typically a higher zoomed optic is better and more advantageous, why wouldn't they you know, allow you to have the ACOG as well? I don't know why that is, but she's getting the new scope, took away her ACOG, not giving the 1.5 and making uh, her keep the reflex, the old red dot, as well as the old holographic. Looking at the F2, they took away the ACOG from the F2, kept all the sights the same, and gave her the 1.5 zoom, which honestly, a lot of people don't even try to use the ACOG on the F2 at this point because it's it has a ton of recoil. And so the 1.5 is actually a healthy mix between having some zoom and still being able to control it. So I, f I feel like a lot of people are going to enjoy the 1.5's edition. However, if you could control the F2 before, it's kind of, kind of a downer. They took away the ACOG, but... I'm not hurting too bad from it. Monty, nothing changed with Monty, nothing changed with Glass. Fuse. Fuse has a lot of optics now. But, uh, not so much on his LMG. Uh, the only thing that changed is the addition of the 1.5. But looking at the AK-12, he now has eight optics. He has the Spetsnaz red dot, the Spetsnaz holographic, and the reflex, as he always has, as well as the old red dot. And he's also getting the, oh, sorry, not the old red dot. He also, he's also getting the NATO red dot, the NATO holographic, the reflex, the 2.0, as well as the ACOG. So plenty of options to go with him. The only thing he's missing is the uh, 1.5 zoom, which, I mean, isn't a big deal. He has eight choices. You can find something to work with there. Next, let's look at Blitz. Nothing changed with Blitz. Looking at IQ. Looking at her AUG A2, 
They gave her the new holographic, kept old Red Dot, the reflex, and gave her, or she kept the uh, ACOG. Looking at the 552 Commando, they gave her the Vortex Sight, and they took away her ACOG, giving her the 1.5. She has the old Red Dot, as well as the old Reflex. I say old Reflex, like it's, there's a new one. It's just the Reflex. Now, looking at the G8A1, they took away her ACOG and gave her the Red Dot, Holographic, and Reflex, which only, like, you know, pl high plats and diamonds use the G8 with an ACOG because everyone just runs the uh, angled grip on it because it's amazing. So... Not too many people are going to hurt from that. Moving on from IQ, we got Buck looking at his G8. Or C8, sorry. He has the holographic. They got rid of his ACOG and gave him the 1.5. Which again, similar to Twitch, he has a lot of recoils. So this may be a benefit for a bunch of people. A mix between a hollow and an ACOG. So he can manage the recoil better with the 1.5. But again, if you're someone who could handle the recoil on the C8 with an ACOG, it's, it's a pretty substantial nerf to him i would think uh looking at his dmr old red dot old holographic the reflex as well as the new 3.0 took away the acog from buck moving forward we got blackbeard looking at the mk17 uh get got rid of the acog gave him the 1.5 everything else is the same looking at the sr25 uh Different story. Uh, he got the new red dot. He's keeping the old holographic and reflex and giving him the 3.0, which they are giving on every DMR. What did I just do? Okay, now we're going to Capital. On the Para 308, he, they took away his ACOG, but gave him the 1.5 as well as the new red dot. Looking at the M249, he's getting the... Uh, the, he's keeping the ACOG, he's getting the new 2.0, as well as the 1.5, so pretty pretty good lineup for him right there. I don't I don't really have any complaints about that. Plenty of options for him. That may actually make me want to play the the uh, M249 more, actually. Now, Habana. Habana, they are getting rid of her ACOG and give her the 1.5, which, I mean, she's already suffering enough since Ace was added to the game, so I don't understand why they would take away her ACOG. And if you watch Get Flank's video talking about uh the season he's released like three since the test server went live so good for him but uh yeah the uh the 1.5 is doesn't look too doesn't look great on the top 89 so i, I think you know to somewhat counteract this this huge nerf to her like give her give her a 30 round mag or something because she she's gonna be su she's gonna be suffering jackal now this is what doesn't make sense to me i just showed you they took away her acog and gave her the 1.5 on the C7E, one of the best rifles in the game, they're giving him the 2.0. So, it, it, it is a step down from an ACOG, but how can you give Habana a 1.5 and call it a day, but then give Jackal, with one of the best guns in the game, a 2.0? Again, it's a nerf to him, they're getting rid of his ACOG, but I don't understand why Habana is getting a bigger nerf. But, anyways, oh, I didn't check the, uh, the PDW9. Uh, they got rid of the ACOG and gave it the 1.5, which I'm kind of disappointed in. I love the ACOG on that, but I mean, it's 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 fair, if I'm being honest with Jackal. Uh, next, we got Ying. Looking at her T95. She's keeping the ACOG and getting the new 2.0 as well as the 1.5. Nothing else has changed. Zofia, looking at the LMGE, keeping the ACOG, getting the 1.5 as well as the 2.0. Everything else is the same. Uh, for the M762, they're getting rid of the ACOG and give her the, giving her the 2.0, which I haven't tried the 2.0 yet. It may be a, a good mix between the 1.5 or like a hollow and an ACOG, but just slightly more zoomed, which, I mean, that's what it is. I haven't tried it out yet, so I can't really say much about it. But yeah, definitely a nerf to uh, Zofia. Which, I mean, it's, it's kind of understandable. She has a very, very high presence and pretty good win rate. Looking at Dokubi on the uh, DMR. Like all the DMRs, she's keeping everything the same. Getting rid of the ACOG and giving her the 3.0. On the Boss G, everything's the same. So that's the 2.5 uh, ACOG. Uh, 
Lion. Now, for Lion, looking at the V308, he's keeping the ACOG and getting the 2.0. For some reason, he's not getting the 1.5, which I really like with Lion. I've tried that out. I really like the 1.5 with him. But he is getting the new Red Dot, for those who are into that. Looking at the 417, like all the other DMRs, everything's the same with the addition of the 3.0 and no ACOG. Uh, what's next? What's next? Finca. Looking at the Spear 308, everything's the same except for getting rid of the ACOG and adding the 2.0 scope. And looking at her LMG, I mean, pretty much everything's the same, just the addition of the 1.5. And nothing changed with the shotguns. So that's Finca Maverick. I gotta go over it. It's gonna be the same for everyone, but, uh, you know, got rid of the ACOG, added the 3.0 for the DMR. Now in the M4, they took away his ACOG and gave him a 1.5, which is kind of understandable. The M4 is an amazing gun, but I mean, still, I didn't think I didn't think he needed a nerf. But he is getting a buff in terms of his canister. He is getting an extra canister. So, that, which I mean, I kind of torn on that. That's a different video for itself about the, the I mean the skill gap. But I mean, overall, nothing too insane. Looking at Nomad. At the AK-74M, just getting rid of the ACOG, like most of the, most of the attackers, and slapping the 2.0 on it. Looking at the ARX, uh, the new red dot, and the new 1.5, and keeping the ACOG, so not too shabby. That's that's definitely a buff for her, I think. She's giving her more options. Good luck on the F90, keeping the ACOG, which, I mean... At, it's a good thing. <laughs> and she's getting the 2.0. Everything else is the same. On her M249 saw, I think it's the same as uh, Capital's M249. Getting the 1.5, the 2.0, and the new scope, which... I mean, they're giving everyone... the Everyone has the option of a red dot, a holographic, and a reflex. So I understand why they're not giving, up, giving us also the option to have the new red dot. Or the new holographic, if you're into that. Doesn't make sense to me. Maybe we'll see that later on, but it's... A lot of the decisions they're making has has me scratching my head. As I'm sure most of you are scratching your head, like why is Habana losing her ACOG? Uh, looking at the FMG9, big buff for uh, my girl Nox. She's getting the 1.5, which is amazing. You guys are gonna love it. You're gonna, I can see a lot more of you guys playing her more because of that. Um, obviously, her biggest downfall was that she didn't have an ACOG or any zoomed optic at launch. Now she has that over a year later, so I'm glad to see that. Amaru. Looking at her G8, she actually has an ACOG, whereas uh, IQ didn't, and she has the addition of the 2.0. So her G8 is different from IQ's, which is understandable. IQ is picked more, and she's needed more. So it's understandable as to why they would give Amaru more options, because she's a lower pick rate. But they're also giving her the uh, new hard breaching tool, so... Expect to see her more in this next season. Uh, Callie, nothing changed with Callie. Looking at Yana. Looking at her ARX. She's getting the 1.5, keeping the ACOG, and getting the new red dot. Her G36, she's getting the new holographic, which I think is pretty cool. I haven't spent much time with it, but it looks cool. And she's getting the 2.0 scope, so no ACOG for her, just like the other uh, G36. Now looking at Ace, looking at his AK-12. He lost his ACOG in the game, the 2.0, which is kind of understandable. I mean, the AK-12 is the best gun in the game on one of the best hard breachers. So it, it makes sense. And lastly, for the attackers, we have Zero. Looking at zero at his SC three hundred or three SC three thousand K. I haven't said the name of it yet, so it's pretty bad. He has the one point five as well as the two point oh, the new red dot and the new holographic, which makes sense. He's the new operator, so he should showcase the new sights off. Uh, he doesn't have an ACOG. He has the two point oh as well as the one point five, which after spending time with it, it's okay. Uh, you can run these sights with it with an angled grip. I, I just prefer the 1.5, but uh, you can run the 2.0 with an angled grip, no problem. So 
It's a great gun. It is sort of a a reload machine. It only has like 25 rounds, I believe. So you'll reload a lot, which I mean, it's it's understandable. Look at, by looking at the stats, it is 45 damage, 850 rounds per minute. So it is it is a hard hitting gun. So all in all, great weapon. And lastly, the MP7 for Sam Fisher, the old Red Dot holographic and reflex with the new 1.5. So if you haven't tried it yet, it, it is interesting. I still prefer his rifle compared to the MP5 because looking at the stats of the, uh, not the MP5, MP7, the stats of the MP7 are 32,900, whereas the uh, SC3000 is 45,850. So it, it's only 50 uh, rounds per minute slower with a huge increase in the damage. So I think it's worth it. And also his pistol, his pistol has the integrated suppressor and it is it is awful is probably the worst pistol in the game. So, I mean, overall, he is very balanced, I think. So, that's about it for the attackers. Now, looking at the defender, starting off with Smoke. Let's look at his FMG. Again, you should never use the FMG, ever. Never use that. Uh, but he's getting the 1.5, and he's... I don't know if he had the Vortex before. I don't play the FMG because I'm, I'm a smart Smoke player. But, yeah. He's got that on the FMG. Next, go to Mute. Looking at the MP5K, he's getting the new holographic, the new red dot, as well as the 1.5. So, kind of bu kind of a buff to Mute. Uh, I could see you maybe making the case on some sites to run the MP5 instead of the shotgun. I, you know, typically will always run the shotgun, but, you know, longer sites that don't really have, like, any necessary rotates or just... Uh, rotate that could just get done with an impact like maybe top floor and cafe you could get by with running the mp5 with the 1.5 times zoom so pretty good addition to him it's not going to hurt him looking at castle looking at the ump 45 he's get also getting the 1.5 times zoom nothing else has changed for him next we should have pulse maybe yeah pulse and he oh not the shotgun he is getting the new holographic, and that's about it. It's kind of understandable. Uh, he he honestly does not need the 1.5. He's already in extremely strong as is. So I, I understand why they're giving it to uh, Castle and not him. Doc, this is the biggest oof of them all, boys. Doc losing his ACOG and getting the 1.5 times zoom. 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 Uh, expect to see a lot less of him moving forward. Man, that was that that hurt. Uh, looking at the P90 for Doc, he has the 1.5 as well as the new holographic, which I mean nobody plays the P90 outside of ranked. Or I'm sorry, outside of casual. <laughs> looking at Rook on Rook's P90, same story but with the new red dot, and on Rook's MP5. He's getting the 2.0 time zoom, which honestly, I mean, I like it because it's encouraging more people to play Rook. So I'm okay with that. But I mean, still, it it hurts that they both of them lost their ACOGs. Okay, moving forward from Rook, we have our boy Capcan, who, by the way, is getting the new 1.5, which is great for Capcan. He's already, he already has one of the highest win rates in the game. And one of the best SMGs. It's not a hard hitter or a very fast gun, but it has zero recoil. And so putting a zoom on that is is it's gonna be interesting. From Capcan to Tachanka. Uh, looking I'm I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, it's the same, which I mean this won't matter uh in season four, which I'm assuming by season four we will get the rework. I don't understand why it hasn't happened for this season, but we have plenty of content to go around. Uh, nothing changed for Jaeger other than the addition of the new red dot, which is understandable. He does not need the 1.5 times zoom. Just no. Uh, I don't think anything changed for Bandit. No, nothing changed for Bandit with his MP7. Looking at Frost, not the shotgun. She is getting the 1.5 zoom, which... I, I like that. She's one of the worst operators in the game. She needs some sort of buff. She probably honestly needs a rework of some kind or to get a better weapon because she is she's very, very situational. Only a few sites is she useful. Looking at Valkyrie, I don't think anything changed for Valkyrie. 
no, nothing at all has changed, which is okay. Her gun doesn't do a lot of damage, as it shows 26 damage, but it does 830 rounds per minute, which that, with the addition of an angled grip, is insane. She's already in a good spot, which so it makes sense to leave her as is. Looking at Cavi at her M12. Nothing changed. I would have liked to see the uh, 1.5 on her because the M12 is statistically the worst SMG in the game. So it would have been nice to see some kind of buff there, but I mean... It's Cavi. Echo. Looking at our boy Echo. He has lost his ACOG and they gave him the 1.5 like our boy Doc, which understandable. He's already insanely powerful. So take away some fracking potential from him. Moving on from Echo, we have our girl Mira, who, by the way, is getting a 1.5 time zoom. Me and my buddies always make jokes about when's Mira going to get her ACOG? Uh, this is the second best thing, and I'm I'm ecstatic to have the 1.5 on the vector for Mira. It is insanely fun. You guys are going to love it. Moving on from Mira, we got our boy Illusion, who, by the way, the, the T5 was already probably the best SMG in terms of feel, in terms of fire rate damage, and just overall amount of recoil that has so little recoil it's probably a fan favorite probably one of the best and it's getting the 1.5 zoom so uh, he's all i've been playing in the test server because of that because he's legion and because he has the 1.5 on the t5 he's we're gonna see a huge increase in his pick rate just as they lowered it it's gonna go right back up because of this update looking at ella i don't think anything changed with ella looking at her scorpion no nothing has changed with ella and her scorpion Moving on from Ella to Vigil. Again, I think same story. Nothing has changed with Vigil. Still, you know, the old red dot holographic and reflex. As well as the boss sheet. It's all the same. He, Vigil as of right now, is the only defender to have an ACOG. Which, I never thought I'd, I'd, I'd say those words ever. But yeah, he's the only one with an ACOG. Moving on from Vigil to Maestro. Looking at our boy Maestro, nothing has changed with him. I would have hoped to have seen the, the addition of the 1.5. But again, it's the Alda, so it's it's understandable. I wonder if anything changed for the ACS. No. Oh, ACS got the uh, red, new red dot. So that's about it for that. Alibi, my girl Alibi. I'm going to tell you right now, nothing changed with her, sadly. If she would have got the 1.5, that would have been... I would have, My head would have exploded because you guys all know that the uh, MX4 Storm is my favorite. I think same story. She's getting the uh, new red dot as well. Going down to... Who's next? Clash. Nothing changed with Clash. Kaid. Kaid is getting the, uh, the 1.5 on his... Uh, what's it called? His AUG, which is much needed. The AUG is awful. I hate this gun, so he needs all the help he can get. And he's getting the new red dot, so that's nice to see that as well. Looking at the TCS G12, he's getting the 2.0. So, big nerf to him. They keep nerfing this thing, man. They uh, they nerf the damage. They increased the, you know, the magazine capacity, which was nice since they nerfed the damage. But again, they're taking away the ACOG and giving him the 2.0, which my boy uh, Kai can't seem to get a break. Kai's one of those players where, or operators that you don't play him because you want to play him, you play him because you have to play him, and they're just making it less fun to play him. Looking at Mozzie's Commando, nothing has changed, which is probably a good thing. The Commando is an insanely powerful weapon on defense. And as well as Roni, nothing has changed. I would have loved to have seen uh, maybe the 1.5, which again, that probably would have been OP, but maybe not since it only has like 20 rounds in the mag. Or sorry, yeah, 20, it has 20 rounds. But anyway, Mozzie's kind of in a good spot right now. Again, I wish they had the Super Shorty still, but what are you going to do? Uh, looking at Warden's MPX, he has the new holographic, as well as the 1.5 times Zoom. 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 So uh, it's a little bit more of incentive to play him. If I was playing casual, I would play him a lot because of the 1.5 on the MPX. But again, he's so situational and just pretty much useless. So there's really no need. Going on from Warden to Goyo. 
Looking at Goyo, nothing has changed with him at all with the Vector. Looking at the TCSG12 for him, he, just like Kaid, has the 2.0 and they get rid of his ACOG. So, rip our boy Goyo, who cannot seem to get a break. Well, my... Looking at his AUG A2, he's getting the new holographic. Nothing else, which, I mean, is okay. He's he's already as strong enough as it is, so I wouldn't really want to see anything change. But he is getting the MP5... Uh, MP5K is getting the 1.5 times zoom. So a, a big buff there. If you're someone who doesn't like the AUG, this is clearly uh, great news for you. But I'm someone who actually really prefers the AUG on Womai. So it doesn't really affect me too much. But again, it's not all about me. And that is there for people who like that. Looking at Oryx, he's getting <laughs> the new holographic, which Oryx is picked so rarely now. And it's hard to find a spot to put him. It's it's hard to bring him, but like he he's a defender who definitely needs the one point five. Even with the uh, angled grip, he he needs that. I think, and hopefully that'll change again. That's what I love about these new optics. It gives operators who maybe have a very low presence in game adding a sight like the one point five or two point oh can encourage more people to play them. And lastly, looking at Malusi. At her T5, it has remained the same, which is a good thing. She's already insanely strong operator. Three speed, one of the best SMGs in the game. She has those Banshees, which haven't been touched since the last nerf where they uh, nerfed the radius. And she has a Nitro Cell, so she's already too strong. There's no reason as to why they should have given her the, the 1.5. So uh, I'm good, proud of Ubisoft for not touching her on that aspect. But overall, that is all the changes uh, in terms of optics that are coming to these operators. And sorry that this video just seemed long and drawn out and unedited, but a lot of people haven't seen these optics firsthand. And so I just want to give that option to people who are console players or players who haven't got on the TS and are wondering what has happened to their favorite operator. What are they getting? What are they losing? Which operators are losing their ACOGs? Which ones are gaining the new sites? So I just wanted to make this video for people who haven't gotten to see that firsthand. But yeah, let me know what you think down below. Which operators are you shocked by the most? Are you just baffled that Habana's lost her ACOG? Or are you really upset because Kaid's losing his ACOG? Or are you really surprised that Legion's getting a 1.5 times zoom on the T5? So let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. But anyways, that's it for today. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button because that actually helps me out a lot with YouTube algorithm. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit subscribe for more R6 content. I am the Senator, and as always... Have a good one.